So here's another example of a fundamental trade. So we were expecting the New Zealand Central Bank to lower interest rate. Okay, we were expecting them to lower interest rates. So we were looking to sell the New Zealand USD. It was the 7th of September, but the rate decision was going to be on the 9th of September. So we would have to wait two days before we could sell the market. So prices were here and we were waiting for price to come back towards the average before we look to sell. Also, we look for past support, future resistance. This was past support, future resistance, but prices blew through this past support, came all the way up to the 200-day moving average, and kept going higher. Now, we could have sold the market here, but this was the 8th of September, and we prefer to enter the market right before the fundamental announcement or a couple of hours before the fundamental announcement. So... We were looking to enter on the 9th. This was the 8th of September, and we were looking to enter on the 9th. Right around here is where we look to enter. If you're selling the market here on a rate decision, you would have to put your stops above the highs. Not this high, because the market is right next to this high. So we would not put our stops at this high, but we would have put our stops at the other high. This is too close to this level, so we would not put our stops at this if we're trading a major fundamental announcement such as interest rates okay so your stops would have to be a little bit higher somewhere up here is where you put your stops and that's where we put our stops we sold the market somewhere here after getting like this evening star candlestick pattern here sold the market prices fell a little as expected and then came back up gave us this lovely tweezer top here prices came back up gave us this lovely tweezer tops before the rate announcement which was here before that the market gave you a tweezer tops okay and this is a sell signal it's also at a resistance level and it's also above the 200 day moving average so it's a good price to sell the market anywhere here we sold the market here we were expecting these guys to lower interest rates so that's the reason why we sold early because we were expecting these guys to lower interest rate and they did as a result the market fell